And uh, Terry joins us on the Dave and Dave Show. Hello, Terry. How are you? Hi, I'm just fine. I'm happy to be here. You, you had Eddie Money as your opening act this weekend. How's uh, Have you ever had that happen? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let, let's talk about what you're going to be doing at the Rouse Center on uh, on the 15th at 3 o'clock. Um, changing landscapes, um, photography is, is your passion and everything. What uh, What will you be talking about? What my what I will do is talk about um, my work as um, as it spans many many years, uh, starting out with looking at the um, Native Prairie ecosystem back in Kansas, and then continuing through um, a number of different projects, looking at the inhabited prairie, how we have changed the prairie, and coming finally to my more recent projects, which are about um, a project I worked on with my colleague Elizabeth Farnsworth in North Dakota about fracking and the effects of fracking on the land and the people there, uh, which then led me to start working here in Chicago on the southeast side where pet coke is stored on the banks of the Calumet River and it pollutes the local neighborhood. So my work is always about land and people and how they are, how they affect each other. And more and more, I have come to the point of wanting to be an advocate for people and for landscapes that, um, that are being, um, um, that are being exploited for, um, industrial purposes. For that. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it, what's it's been maybe like the last 10, 15 years or so that North Dakota has been uh, the, the the oil boom? Is yes. Hit? Yes. And, and it, I think it's uh, in a bit of a decline now uh, for the time being. But uh, when we started working there in um, June of 2011, it was at its peak. And it was um, very disturbing to see what it's doing to uh, local people who don't own the mineral rights to the land and um, whose lives are being turned upside down by the fracking, and also what it's doing to the land itself. Do you ever take pictures? I I noticed a lot of our landscapes, uh, Terry, do you ever take pictures of the the people in the area that are affected by the, the fracking or by the other elements? Yes, yes. I do a lot of portraits and... Uh, I do. I did that in North Dakota. I'm doing that now on the, the southeast side of Chicago. Um, um, I like to uh, use the portraits and the landscape to to tell the story of what's happening there. I do a lot of aerial photography too. Uh, you're uh, you're listening to the Dave and Dave Show here on AM 1410 with Terry Evans, who's going to be up at the Rouse Center on the uh, 15th. At 3 o'clock, you can go to rousecenter.org for tickets and more information on uh, on this show. Um, I, I've looked at some of your pictures, and, and being a Chicagoan, uh, it, it's always fascinating to see the city of Chicago. And you've got, you've got uh, industrial pictures, you've got the lakefront, you've got uh, a nice selection of Chicago landscape and... and uh, uh, how do you how do you go about finding these places? Because not everyone is going to take a picture of you know we'll stay, say like a staircase or something, um, but you find a, a nice picture out of uh, out of an ordinary subject. How 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 have you been able to do that, Terry? Well, I I work on long term projects and I work on things that I have a curiosity about and an interest in, and so and then I let them take me uh, where they will, and so. I may start out with a lot of questions and an interest in a subject. Um, The pictures you were referring to about Chicago were from an aerial project that I did in collaboration with the uh, Open Land Organization. And, um, in fact, there are some pictures in that project of McHenry County, and so I'll be sure and show some of those. So so that project was about looking at the... um, Six county region around Chicago and how 
it is connected uh, environmentally, ecologically, looking at the um, relationships of the places to each other. I usually have some kind of connection, empathy with the person I'm photographing, even though I may spend only a few minutes with them. Uh Um, I I never want to photograph someone as a villain. But on the other hand, I do think that um, big oil companies are um, exploiting the landscape, and I think it's time for us to start leaving some of the oil in the ground and so that's part of that whole story. I, but, you know, the people who are working, um, I have pictures in that project mm-hmm. of, um, of people who've been working um, on oil rigs for years. Yeah. And um, uh, I enjoyed meeting them very much. How, how did you get started in photography, Terry? Oh, I got started. Um, my father was a professional photographer. And um, this will tell you how old I am, though it's certainly no secret. But in 1968, I was um, in college at the University of Kansas, and Bobby Kennedy came there to kick off his presidential campaign. Hmm. And I borrowed my father's Nikon, or one of his Nikons, and got down, I was allowed to be down on the floor of the field house with the people who really knew what they were doing. And, uh, and I got some pictures that I liked and it made me realize that photography was a way to have, uh, have a connection to the world that I couldn't really have in any other way. I had been studying art and painting by myself and I discovered that photography would take me into the world and um, into places that I wouldn't have access to otherwise and situations and people. Do do you find yourself uh, enjoying taking pictures of landscape or people more? I love it. Oh, I think uh, I started out photographing people and I never was the least bit interested in landscape. But once I started um, understanding the prairie as an ecosystem, I started getting very interested in, in looking at it. And uh, from then on, it's, I, would, I would say, I don't know, I couldn't say which I like best. It um, depends think, on the people in the landscape, right? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> and You must have your own airplane, I'm guessing, right? Or a, uh, oh, you know, no, I don't at all. And I don't fly myself. I, I can barely walk and chew gum at the same time. So <laughs> I have to, I have the pilot and i am beside the pilot in the plane and we have a headset on and we're like dance partners and i say you know i um i want to be i want to photograph that train that we see up there and he says i'll put you there and so we go over there and and he banks the plane and i take the picture or if it's not a moving object um you know i'm i'm telling him it's it's uh I have worked with the same helicopter pilot in Chicago for many years, Keith Wilson of uh, Wilco Helicopters. And um, uh, we work very well together. He knows what I like. And sometimes I will have to circle a subject several times before I get what I want. And I have to have the light be right. The hey. light's uh, the most important thing. Uh, anyone who purchases advanced tickets will yeah. be automatically entered to win a day for four to the uh, Chicago Botanic Gardens. Again, rousecenter.org, R-A-U-E, center.org, for, uh, for tickets to, uh, to this show. Well, thank you uh, for joining Dave and I on, uh, on the show tonight. Good luck uh, with your future uh, projects, and uh, enjoy the, uh, the Rouse Center this weekend, all right? Thanks so much. I'm looking forward to it.